so can you take us through the core ideas of your book and uh, what you consider to be the book's central argument? You talk of the rise of an African middle class in the context in which, uh, you know, dis- there were discriminatory and oppressive laws that were meant to um, subjugate or su- to subject Africans uh, and relegate them to be second class citizens. What sort of factors led to the rise of this group as a distinguished group? I, I began to conceive this project in the 1980s as a, as a PhD thesis. And at that time, the, the main locus of historical research in Africa was in the South, especially in South Africa. Um, and there, the focus was on the labor question. I, I inquired about um, going into South Africa to work. Um, but was told that um, um, you know admission was not likely, given who I was, that is to say, a black person from the diaspora. This is, we're talking about apartheid South Africa now, of course. And so, uh, you know, with the independence of Zimbabwe in 1980, the front line of the struggle against settler colonialism in Africa had been moved further south from the uh, from the Zambezi River down to the Limpopo, mm-hmm. the, the southern border of, um, of um, Zimbabwe with South Africa. So um, having been blocked from South Africa, so to speak, I, um, I decided to go to Zimbabwe. Um, and um, instead of doing labor, um, I decided to focus on the middle class, which was a topic that not many people and not many historical researchers were looking into at that point. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, I had to account, I wanted to account in historical terms for the people who had come to power in Zimbabwe in 1980. In, in mm-hmm. um, you know, they didn't come out of nowhere, they came out of somewhere. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Uh, historically speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what my um, research uncovers is that um, over a period of six, seven decades or so, from the beginning of the colonial era in the 1890s down to 1965, um, a self-conscious African middle class had emerged. Um, and the date 1965 is important mm-hmm. uh, because it was that year, as you well know, uh, that the uh, white settlers went into rebellion against exactly. uh, the, the British uh, colonial rule mm-hmm. and uh, declared themselves independent. Mm-hmm. Independent. Uh, the infamous UDI, yeah. the Unilateral Declaration of, of Independence. Independence. Yeah. Right. So um, uh, UDI. Um, uh, should be seen first and foremost um, as a revolt against the African middle class um, because the African middle class had come into its full formation mm-hmm. by 1965 and they were demanding political power, mm-hmm. which the settlers, um, of course, refuse uh, to, um, to entertain. Um, hence, the unilateral declaration. 